Andrew Tate and Pierce Morgan sat down and had a debate, both very intellectual. This is going to be very interesting to see Andrew Tate defend himself and to see Pierce Morgan go on the attack. Andrew Tate's the most famous man you've probably never heard of, but the chances are your children will have videos of Tate. have been viewed billions of times online. He's built an enormous following of mostly young men, and it's often scandalous views about women that have made him notorious across the world. Wow. It's great to have two intellectuals sit down actually because today, nowadays, people will just cancel you for no reason. Okay, so let's start with the first point. Roll the clip. I think my sister is my, her husband's property, yes. When a bride is walking down the aisle to marry the groom, the father walks next to her and gives her away. True or false? So this is what I think about the first take. I think Andrew says a lot of controversial things. This one is pretty controversial. I'm not even going to lie about that one. Women being men's properties. I 100% disagree with Andrew there. I think that men do have the responsibility to protect and to provide for the women around, but no one is anybody's property. I, I disagree with his point there. And I think that one goes to Pierce. So the second thing they discussed was depression. And I thought that this was a very interesting take from Andrew. Roll the clip. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe in it. If you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts, now you're afraid. But if you don't believe in ghosts, ah, it's the wind and you go back to sleep. You give the ghosts power by believing in them. I agree 100% with Andrew here. Depression is up here. It's something that you can change. If you believe that you're depressed, then you are depressed. But if you believe that you can get yourself out of that depression, then you can. Most of the people that are depressed, they don't want to train. They don't want to do anything. And to be honest, life is hard. No one is going to hand you anything. I've struggled my whole life. That's why I look at depression as it's something up here. If you can th be depressed by thinking it, then you can also think your way out of depression. So I agree 100% with Andrew here, and I think he gets the W on this one. Do you respect women? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? Do you think that 18, 19-year-old women are more attractive than 25-year-old women? I think there's attractive people. Uh, that's, that's a loaded question. I don't know. Well, it's not really, is it? I, I can't you know why I'm asking you. Of course I do, but I can't sit well, here and for say... For the benefit of viewers who don't know why I'm asking, you said this. In general, this is also one of the reasons men find youth attractive. You want to block the internet? I'll block the internet right effing now. The reason 18 and 19-year-olds are more attractive than 25-year-olds is because they've been through less dick. People say, oh, you can't say that, but yes, I can. A 19-year-old is more attractive than a 26-year-old woman, and I'll tell you why. Because that 26-year-old has talked to more guys, been to the club more times, been effed and dumped more times, more arguments, more mess, more for me to clean up. That is misogyny. Why? Because you are encouraging a mindset about 25-year-old women that makes them sound out to be infinitely less desirable than 18, 19-year-olds and having effectively been having too much sex to be taken in a more respectful way. What I find interesting is like Leonardo DiCaprio has a very interesting dating history. He's a man which is in extreme amounts of power, right? And what he does is he dates girls from 20 to 25. No one is talking about that. No one is villainizing Leonardo DiCaprio for this. But if Andrew Tate says it and says what Leo is doing, people want to be behind Leo and look at him like a media darling, but Tate is hated. That's where I'm saying the double standard comes. Women are allowed to have their preferences. That's okay. And men are allowed to have their preferences. That's okay. As long as the girl is of age, I don't see that there's any problem with that because the person's 18 and they can make up their mind who they want to sleep with or not. Why are men so villainized when it comes to this specific point? That would, well, firstly, even if that was the case, that wouldn't be misogyny. Well, what did you mean by what you said? That's not misogyny because it's not anti-women. I'm, I'm saying that an 18 or a 19-year-old woman would be more desirable. It's pretty anti-25-year-old woman. Anti-25-year-old women, we can argue, but not misogyny. Well, that's misogyny. Let's, then, isn't let's, it? No, 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 it's not. Well, being anti any woman at all is misogyny. Not when I'm not when I'm saying that women are beautiful and attractive at a certain age and saying the age. You're is saying 18, 19-year-olds are more attractive than 25. Well, than ageist, perhaps, but misogynistic, absolutely. Exactly, not. but you just accepted it was misogyny. No, I didn't. You said it was misogyny. I'm telling you, no, it's not. But if a 26-year-old woman is watching this and has heard those comments, yeah. Would you just say to her, I, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, I won't. I will say that I am sorry that that offends you. 
However, there's a large contingent of the world. That doesn't and, mean you're sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. That's the point I'm making. I'm sorry if that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world that believe that, and I was mediating for a conversation. Parts of the world that believe that about 26-year-old women are parts of the world where women are not allowed out on their own. That's your. That's a conversation. They have to now. wear full burkas. Well, that's a conversation. They're not now. allowed to drive cars. That's nothing to do with me. But right is that now. the kind of world for a woman that you? I was mediating. A, I was mediating a conversation. No, I'm asking you what you think. If there's a product and people want to buy it, guess what? People are going to buy it. Tate has nothing to do with the market. So I find that that's a big win for Tate right there. I think that that was very interesting that they're, they're talking about this. But anyway, this is something that we have, we all know in our society, like older men date younger women and vice versa. And if that happens, that, that's not a weird thing. Like, why are they trying to make it such a weird thing? Maybe I want a church girl. I want something pure. What? That is that is crazy. Here specifically, Tate takes a W. Even though it doesn't look like it, Tate still takes a W just because this is how society is. And it's not Tate's fault that that's how our society is. An inquest this week found that a 14-year-old girl, Molly Russell, died from an act of self-harm or suffering from depression and the negative effects of online content. The coroner said she was exposed to material that may have influenced her in a negative way, and in addition, what started as depression and become a much more serious depressive illness, and she very sadly took her life. That's, that's absolutely disgusting. Right. Her father... That's terrible. Her father's campaign for better protections against potentially dangerous social media algorithms, right? It says that the particularly graphic content she saw romanticised acts of self-harm, normalised her condition, and focused on a limited and irrational view without any counterbalance of normality. First of all, what is your response to that? Nothing to do with you. I'm yeah, it's, it's, your that's the first thing. Yeah, it's, it is nothing to do with me. Uh, the fact that a 14-year-old girl took her life is truly sad. The world we live in today is... The world we live in... The, the fact that something like that happened is almost mind-blowing to me. That's truly, that's truly sad. I actually feel sad inside to see something like that. I think Pierce Morgan addresses a very important problem in today's society. There are a lot of people that are taking their own lives right now, and that is very tragic. But again, this has nothing to do with Andrew Tate. All that Andrew Tate wanted to do is mostly motivate young, disenfranchised boys. So I think I got to give him the W there because he had nothing to do with the girl taking her own life. But anyway, like, comment, and share if you guys want to see more videos like this. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.